Hello, Iowa. Governor Kim Reynolds, Chairman Kaufman, to my fellow Republicans, I'm Mike Pence, and I'm running for President of the United States of America. And it's my joy to be back in the first in the nation primary caucus state here in Iowa. <laughs> Unlike Democrats, I, I might not say it exactly right, Mr. Chairman. But unlike Democrats, I know the road to the White House starts right in the great state of Iowa. And it's a special joy to be in the Hawkeye State this weekend with a Marine Corps mom, a lifelong school teacher, and the best second lady the United States of America has ever had. Would you join me in thanking my wife, Karen Pence, for her lifelong service to America? You know, this is our uh, 15th trip to Iowa since uh, leaving the White House, which is what Chairman Kaufman calls a good start. Karen and I want to say thank you all for the very warm welcome, especially the warm welcome we received in Urbandale on the 4th of July, where it was only 95 degrees for that two-mile parade. And the best part was the last half mile was all uphill. <laughs> but thank you all. It's a joy to be with you. I stand before you today extraordinarily blessed. I had the opportunity to live my dream of representing my hometown in the Congress of the United States, where I was a leader for some 12 years. I was governor of my home state, where we balanced budgets, cut taxes, and created record employment. And let me take this opportunity to thank you for the privilege of serving as your vice president. It was the greatest honor of my life. But I stand before you today as a candidate for president because I think this country is in a lot of trouble. Americans are facing one man-made crisis after another, and that man's name is Joe Biden. Joe Biden has weakened America at home and abroad in two and a half short years. Runaway spending unleashed the worst inflation in 40 years. Their war on energy has burdened American families and businesses. Their open border policies created the worst border crisis in the history of our country. And that disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan has emboldened the enemies of freedom around the world. And worse still, Biden and the radical left's assault on life and religious liberty and traditional values threatens the well-being of our children, born and unborn. Now, you're hearing from many candidates at this podium tonight, and we don't agree on every issue, but there'll be time for that. So let's agree here and now, that starting here in Iowa, we're all going to do our part to make sure that Joe Biden is never reelected as President of the United States. <laughs> Joe Biden's been a disaster for America, and I understand the temptation to cling to what is familiar over leadership fitted to the times, but I believe we must resist the politics of personality and the siren song of populism unmoored to conservative values, because different times calls for different leadership. To defeat Joe Biden, I believe we must give the American people new Republican leadership, leadership with a proven commitment to the conservative agenda. You know, ever since I left my last job, I've traveling around this state, Karen and I have figured out that we're well known, but we're not known well. People don't necessarily know that we're the parents of three, a Yale Law grad, a best-selling author, married to a Navy lieutenant, and we're the proud parents of a captain in the United States Marine Corps. They may not know about my years of leadership in the Congress or as governor. But I must say, as I stand before you today, I know we can bring this country back. That's what brings me to this moment, because I know how. We can end the inflation inflicted by the Biden administration on American families by ending runaway spending, confronting our debt crisis, unleashing American energy, and making the Trump-Pence tax cuts permanent. We can embrace our role as leader of the free world, confront Russian aggression and Chinese provocations with a new military fitted to the challenges in the 21st century, and we can 
end the political correctness at the Pentagon, including reinstituting a ban on transgender personnel in the United States military. And we can end Biden's radical abortion agenda by doing just what you all did recently here in Iowa, and that is promoting pro-life laws at states across the country. And I believe the time has come for a minimum national standard of a 15-week ban at the federal level. And finally, we can restore confidence in the rule of law by cleaning house at the Department of Justice and appointing men and women of integrity who will uphold the law without fear or favor. You know, I truly do believe the American people long to restore a threshold of civility in public life. You know, here in uh, Iowa and back home in Indiana, we know how to disagree without being disagreeable. And I want to promise each and every one of you that if I have the privilege of being your president, we will restore honesty, integrity, and civility to American public life. You know, in all my travels as your vice president and all my other times of service, two things have been true. During all that time, my opinion of the federal government has gone down. But my opinion of the American people has gone up each and every year. I've seen the American people in good times and in bad. I've seen when the wind's blown and beat against the house. I've seen the way Americans come alongside neighbors and friends and people they never met to help people rebuild their lives in their darkest hours. I say to you with deep conviction, the American people are the most faith-filled, freedom-loving, innovative, generous people the world has ever known. We just got to have government as good as our people again. So this then is your task, Iowa. Iowa always plays an outsized role in shaping our nation's leadership, and tonight is one more installment of that. But I know the people of Iowa will rise to the challenge, and you'll shape that leadership to meet this moment in the life of our nation. So I believe in the people of this country, and I have faith. I truly do believe through the long and storied history of America again and again, we see evidence of Providence hand. From the moment the pilgrims first stepped off onto Plymouth Rock, this one nation under God has gone to the wellspring of support that has always seen us through challenging times and will see us yet through these times. I believe with all my heart, God is not done with America yet. And if all of us do all that we need to do to turn our hearts back to Him and work to give America a new future grounded in freedom and in our highest ideals, we're going to win a great future for the American people in 2024. And I know the best days of the greatest nation on earth are yet to come. So I thank you for hearing me out tonight. I look forward to seeing you at Casey's in Pizza Ranch in the days ahead. The Pences will be doing the full grass lake. And I can't wait. If you've heard something tonight you like or you see something you like, I hope you go to MikePence2024.com and join our cause. But let me close by just thanking you for the way the people of Iowa take to heart your responsibility in this moment in the life of our nation. It's deeply inspiring. As I stand before you today as a candidate for President of the United States, I want to say thank you, Iowa. Thank you for doing your part to make sure that the best days of the greatest nation on earth are yet to come, and it will be Republicans that lead us there. So help us God. Thank you very much. God bless you, and God bless America.